hi hi what's up guys what's up i hope you guys are doing well and uh i thank you guys for supporting my channel for viewing my content i am so excited for that yeah uh um this is pinto forex uh today i just want to show you guys on how i analyze my chart no yeah but remember that i'm not a financial advisor i'm just here to share my skill and knowledge what i know so i see that there's a lot of people that are still struggling in trading yeah so i won't go too deep too deep yeah i won't go too deep but i'll show you guys how i do my analyze uh, how i do my analysis so guys please whatever i'm going to share here it's not a must for you to take it yeah please if you are following my channel because you want to learn from me and then that's good but if you're just here to to spy on what whatever i do so just excuse me and just unsubscribe my channel because i'm here to empower people i'm here to show my knowledge with people i'm not here to pray go to flex so if you want to flex go subscribe to those other channel that they like flexing here i'm just here to show you how i trade in to help you guys if you're struggling you understand yeah so one thing an advice that i can tell you guys for my followers is that do not follow a person because you see the person is driving beautiful cars is flexing money around you know don't follow those type of people follow people that they can that they can help you out with knowledge and skill understand follow people that they will help your trading career you know don't follow people are showing money be simple be simple simplicity is the best is the key to every thing understand yeah so i'm saying again if you're following me because you you want to see me posting how i live or whatever so just unsubscribe my channel and yeah yeah guys this is how i do my analyze uh the way i told you guys i won't go that deeper 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 because um I only go deeper to my students yeah but if you're just following just want to know a bit of how this market works then uh, you should watch out what I'm going to show you now this is uh, US 30 this is US this is US 30 US 30 this is a this is an index that has 30 most of the biggest company in usa that's why it's very volatile this is not like currency pay that it's very low volatile this is very strong volatile yeah so this is how i do my analyze i always start with my daily time frame i always start with my daily uh, time frame but in this one let me just go to show you how I do. This is my daily time frame. This is my daily time frame. I won't hide anything because trading, I can teach you how to trade, but if you're not disciplined and you don't follow your rules or whatever, so you won't be where you want to be. So if we see this, we see that this is an uptrend on my daily time frame understand so right now what i can say is that uh, let me go i i already know that this market is doing high 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 low high low high highs so the key of this thing is for you to follow the trend now as you can see this is a four hour time frame uh it's, it's also bullish market as you can see it's a bullish market it's a bullish market but it seemed like like the market is shifting 
seems like like it's shifting but yeah so uh you can see right now what i what i see on us 30 is that us 30 is gonna say it's gonna buy it's going to buy uh but before before buying before engaging myself to this trade i'm expecting for the market to make a retracement back down before that big move up so right now what i am uh, anticipating is just that i want this market to do like this uh let's see this. okay all right before that big push before that big push if it goes up remember that for me i will strongly be a buyer once this market go beyond this line this black line here if it goes beyond this black line then there is where i'm going to take i will go full force on buying but if it doesn't below this line i'm still a seller i'll be a seller yeah below this i'll be a seller but what i want to see on the market this week like monday tuesday wednesday maybe monday tuesday at least i want to see the market to do like this I want to see the market to do like this and then maybe try to come again down you know after that i want to see something like this like this then go up then correction then something that when it will come at this black line there is where i'll be willing to go harder like on the bank's side you know yeah but for now i'm still on the sell side if the price doesn't go on top of this on top of this line on, on top of that supply zone so this is how, how, how i see yeah this is how i'm watching on us 30 so i'll take i'll be willing to buy so strongly if the price go beyond this supply zone and uh uh here i will want to see the price i, I will see what price is gonna do here when it will come here but my my mostly point of interest is gonna be here yeah it's gonna be here because i see some sort of unfair price here so let me go to my 15 minute uh, on the 15 minute or oh, it was an impulse there uh, yeah uh, okay this is in high yeah so i'm ex i'm expecting for this market to make a retracement down yeah i'm expecting for this market to make a retracement down before going up yeah let me just I'm expecting yeah if it comes down again these will be my areas of interest here and here yeah so because right now market is trying to create some sort of strong resistance so I, mean, I want to I'm expecting if this market can come. Yeah. Yeah. Down. 
before going up something like this like this like this and then drag up then go the when it reach here i want it to go above to break that supply zone and proceed up that is my bias yeah that's how i will, I will see it. but if price doesn't come again here and then just start shooting up and practice the supply zone then i'll also go from there but the price may not reach again here it might not reach again here so here and here these are my two point of areas of interest so yeah so okay this is my point of interest well i'm willing to to jump in now yeah, well, i'm willing to jump in here and here yeah yeah let me see on h4 see h4 yeah so, okay so this is how i see it this is how i see it so let's uh, let, let, let me take you guys to nasdaq these are the only trade that i these are the only pairs that i trade with 30 and nasdaq yeah so i have here point of interest and here we will be looking to go long but i'll be more long if price can if price comes breaks this supply zone and then yeah something like this okay let me do it right uh if it goes if you want to see something like this then drag this test and go when it comes here i want it to come and test somewhere here then to like this to like this to like this to like this and go yeah that's my bias on u30 Now on uh, on uh, on Nasdaq, this is what I see. That I, this is what I'm expecting on Nasdaq. This is what I'm expecting on Nasdaq. Mm, let me go. Let me go to. Yeah, this is what I'm expecting on Nasdaq for price to come back somewhere here in this zone. Yeah, to come back on this zone. To come back on this zone. Yeah, so. So I'll be I'll be going long if I'll be long, I'll be going long. This is what I want to see on Nasdaq. This type of movement. If below this zone here, below this zone, I'll be going short. Below the zone, I'll be going short. Yes, below this zone. This is my shorting zone. If price goes and start going down, yeah, 
um, yeah, if price starts going down, then this is where I'll be looking to to go. But if price continue going, doing the what is doing right now, then I will be looking for long position. Yeah, so let me see on fifteen minute. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, I think this um, it will fall before going up. Let me just redo this thing. Mm, this one, but it might come back here down before going up. Remember, I said I'll be going short if price go below this demand zone. So this is what I'll be anticipating. I want to see this market to come down. Even just to to range somewhere here. Like this. This. Come here. And then. Do like this. Do like this. Do like this. Do like this, do like this, then like this, and then go. That's what I'm I'm going to expect on mass hundred. This is what I'm going to expect on mass hundred this week. So yeah. This is what I'm going to expect on mass hundred. If it doesn't do like that, then I'm out. So yeah. This is what I'm going to expect on mass hundred. Mass hundred. Yeah guys, so the way I told you guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Please do not do not watch this and then immediately start using them or trading you understand yeah i just like making things simple on my trading so that it doesn't complicate me as you guys you can see i just trade three pairs these are the only pairs that i trade ua30 and nice hundred yeah so the only pairs that i trade ua30 and nice hundred exy i just use to see where would the market go or how is the dollar doing that's the only thing i use but i don't trade here so guys thank you so much for paying attention to my youtube channel and uh, yeah comment below so that like so that i can do more video of this type that can help you guys also to become a profitable forex trader so for me have a blessed day, have a blessed night, and good luck on your Forex trading career. So, yeah, so um, this is what I do. And gold, sometimes, sometimes I also trade gold. Yeah, yeah. but my, my, my only focus is on NASDAQ and U30. Yeah, so gold, some of the time I trade them. I, I trade it. Uh, pardon me yeah so on gold this is what i'm expecting this is what I, i'm expecting if price come below this uh, supply zone then i'll be a seller but if it break i'll be i'll be i'll be buying if price go above this supply zone so guys thank you so much for watching so follow the video from the beginning until the end for you to understand yeah chop chop this is been to forex namibia we out